Hey gamers, I know it's been a while since my last review, but hey, finals are a time-consuming bitch. But I'm done with them now, so it's time for me to review Conflict Desert Storm 2 Back to Baghdad for the GameCube. That a long enough title for you? All points, stand by, stand by. The game is set in 1991 during the Persian Gulf War when Iraqi forces invaded Kuwait. Playing as a team of four US soldiers, or UK soldiers depending on which one you choose, your team is sent into the field to accomplish various missions in an effort to help the UN coalition forces drive the Iraqi army out of Kuwait. Roger that, Delta Two. Over and out. To be honest, Desert Storm 2's graphics are probably its weakest aspect. Not only were they below average for the time, but they have not aged well. The character models look blocky and textures are muddy. The environments are fairly good for the time though. Not great, but good enough. The cutscenes look better and more 6th generation, but even they look rather bland and unimpressive. The sound of Desert Storm 2 is definitely better, but not by much. There is good music throughout the missions that matches the feel of what's happening. The voice acting is good too. Actually, more average than good. It's not impressive voice acting, but it's not bad either. At this point, you may be thinking, okay Nintendo reviewer, if this game has bland, mediocre presentation, is it at least fun to play? It damn well better be, since gameplay is always what makes a game worthwhile or not. And luckily, Desert Storm 2 is fun to play. Now the game is a squad-based shooter. You can command your team of four individually, or give them the same order all at once. But you can also swap between which teammate you control directly with one button press. So whenever you feel like it, you can switch from the team leader to playing as the sniper, the support gunner, or the demolition man. And each squad mate is equipped with several weapons and items to use on the missions. Certain items are specific to each squad mate like Jones having the C4 or Connors with the machine guns because of the individual specialty sets of each character. But you can have the squad mates give each other items, which allows you to mix and match inventories to your liking. You can also pick up items in different parts of the levels, but only weapons and medkits really. And once you get the controls for this game down, it's easy enough to access items in your inventory. But I strongly suggest that you play the training levels first, because it's easy to forget certain controls and commands, which could make the game a bit more difficult than it otherwise would be. Speaking of controls, I tend to play this game with auto-aim turned on. Other reviewers have said this makes the game too easy. That might be slightly true, but the flip side is that aiming without auto-aim on can be kind of tricky for shooting accurately. You still have to do some form of aiming if you have auto-aim on, unless you switch to first person view. So it may be best to just leave it on when you play, but the developers could have made free aiming easier and more accurate. Most of the objectives in this game are either to reach an object and destroy it, or a simple fight your way from point A to point B. But to mix things up, there are also some objectives of escape, defend, or reach point B using stealth. Fortunately, you don't fail the stealth mission if you just go loud, which is good for people who love to run in guns blazing. It's just advised that you stay stealthy for that one mission, unless you like taking tank rockets and machine gun rounds to the face. Each mission has its own little challenges for you to overcome too, and part of the problem solving is strategically commanding your different squad mates to execute a certain tactic, such as this part where I'm moving all of my teammates into position in order to do a successful surprise attack on a group of enemies without getting the tank to blow us up. In general, the enemy infantry aren't too difficult to handle, but the tanks are forces to be reckoned with. But on hard mode, every enemy type is really good at killing you. Don't be a Rambo on hard mode. That will end really badly for you. Especially bearing in mind that you have to watch the health of all of your squad mates. Make sure they're healed when injured or downed. When someone gets downed by a tank and you have to heal them without getting blown up, now there's a challenge. So yes, the missions are fun, but for some reason, there is no form of selecting missions for replay in this game, meaning you have to play from the beginning and save at different points. Seriously? Every shooter I own has a form of mission selection except this one. 
How was one not included in this game? You'd think at the time this game was made that mission selecting would be a regular thing in all shooters, but no. My ranting aside, Desert Storm 2 is a very fun squad-based shooter. How could it be more fun? Easy. Play the co-op mode. It's probably the best part of this whole game. Since there are four characters in the squad, this game allows up to four players to play cooperatively, which means less AI squad mates for you to worry about and command. And it's a lot of fun to play and complete objectives together in Desert Storm 2's co-op. Unless someone pulls a Twan. Let me explain. In 8th grade, I was playing the third mission of this game with Twan and two other friends. I got downed by a tank, and two of my friends got downed trying to save me. We later discovered that our friend Tuan was hiding in the bunker holding onto 25 med packs while the rest of us were lying on the ground bleeding out. After a few minutes, Tuan left the bunker and ran to us. We thought he was coming to heal us. Nope. Instead, he starts taking all of our items off of our corpses. Which you are allowed to do in this game, but still. He ran off with our weapons and med packs. I died. We had to start the mission over. Besides that incident, 4-player co-op is at its best when played with great friends, and you all just turn it into one big multiplayer comedy show. This happens with my friends and I every time we play this game. As proof, here are some voice clips from me and two of my friends playing the co-op mode. Just a warning though, there is some strong language in these clips, so viewer discretion is advised. Die asses! I'm reloading. I just realized this. No! I killed them both, only to get downed. Hold on, let me find you. There you are. Ah! No! Help me! You have 17? Damn it! Give me some of those! Oh god, what happened? Max, oh Jesus Max. Christ, Max, you just murdered me! You murdered each other. Damn it! <laughs> Don't go crazy with the Mark 19. <laughs> Bite me! <laughs> Poor choice of words, my friend. Uh, <laughs> no! The knife is out! No! Max, no! <laughs> I oh, he's in the killing mood, alright. No shit. No shit. Yeah, he's really going on the rampage. I will give you my knife. Let me give it to you. Where's my RPK? There it is. Oh, Jimbo, not you too. <laughs> You're healing him if you kill him. Fair enough. Uh, Hold still. No. <laughs> hey, Max. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> Why would anyone use that? Where's the Jeep? It's right here. People who hear my commentary think it, will think I'm a noob. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I am a, oh god, I almost ran you over. Don't hit me. I'm me. Reload. <laughs> okay. Ha uh ha! -huh. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! Dude! Jimbo! I got him. I got him. <laughs> okay, yes, please heal him. Heal his ass. Damn it, Connor! You ran me over? Sort yes, of. he ran you over. <laughs> sort of. When it comes to this game, it's admittedly weak in its presentation, and not having a form of mission select is a big negative. But this game is worth playing purely because of how much fun it is, especially with co-op. As far as recommending this game, it's a great rental, but I wouldn't spend more than 10 or 15 dollars when it comes to purchasing it. But if you want a reason to buy it, buy it for the co-op. Go! Go, go heal fully. Uh, yes. Heal. Okay, you got him up. Okay. Heal. You got Jones up. Heal you Get fool. me up. Heal you fool. Oh my god, he actually pulled that off. Wow. I don't know how. I'm amazed. Don't question it. Don't question it. Just run like hell. Run. Just run. Let me the fuck run. in. Ah. We did it. We did it. I saved everybody. You Instead did. of pulling a twan, he could have very easily pulled a twan. <laughs> Juan, if you're watching, guess I have not forgotten that incident <laughs> after all these years. How could one?